lucky enough to have all four of my grandparents until just recently when one of them passed away. Yeah. And in the past 27 years, they've taught me a whole lot, and I have learned a lot of lessons from them, and they've told me the best stories. I think you can learn more from older people than you can from any classroom or any book. Do you agree? When my grandparents first met, my grandpa was working in the grocery store, and my grandma was there with her aunt, and he said, I want you to come back at 5 o'clock when I get off and we'll go on a date. And she said, we can't do that. I'm engaged, and I don't have a way to get back up here. So he handed her his car keys, and she came back at 5 o'clock, and two months later, they were married. <laughs> mm -hmm. After they got married, they went on a little trip, and they went horseback riding. Yeah, my grandma had never been horseback riding before. So they were just <laughs> trotting along, and all of a sudden, her horse just takes off. It just runs and runs, and she falls off, and her foot got caught in the saddle. I know. And my grandpa just didn't know what to do. But luckily, the grocery store manager came out and took her roll of quarters away, so she was done riding the horse for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so their marriage started off on a bumpy start, and my grandma always likes to tell how the first few years they were married, they lived right next door to her in-laws, which was a mess. Yeah. And her mother-in-law would come over all the time unannounced. And one day she came in and my grandma was in the living room. Love me. Oh, yeah. And so her mother-in-law was like, what are you doing standing here naked? And she said, I'm not naked. I'm in my love dress. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. She said, I, it makes me happy. It makes my husband happy. And this is my house. So if you don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> um, so her mother-in-law left and went home and she said she may be on to something. So she went and got all cleaned up and waited for her husband to come home. So he came in and he said, what are you doing standing here naked? And she said, well, I'm not naked. I'm in my love dress. <laughs> he said, well, it needs ironing. <laughs> 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 so after the first year, my grandpa just knew that he had to get her something special for her their first anniversary gift. So he saved up and he bought her a brand new refrigerator. And he said that he knew she loved it because her face just lit up when she opened it. <laughs> yeah, so they made it through the first year, and they were married 63 years. Yeah, 63 years. And they knew everything about each other, except for one secret. My grandma had a shoebox in the top of the closet, and she would never let him look in it. And so after 60 years, he said, Sally, it's time for me to look in that shoebox and see what you have. I need to know everything about you. It's been long enough. So she gets the shoebox down, and there are two crocheted dolls and fifty thousand dollars in cash. Yeah. And he said, "What is this?" And she said, "When we got married, my grandmother said if I ever got mad at you, not to yell and scream, but to go in the other room and crochet a doll." My grandpa was only almost brought to tears because at sixty years she only made two dolls. <laughs> And he said, well, that explains the dolls, but what about this $50,000 in cash? And she said, well, that's the money that I made from selling the dolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was cute. <laughs> yeah. We're on a roll, yeah. My grandma's sister wasn't lucky enough to have a 60-year-long marriage, though. She'd been married four times. 
Yeah, we got to talking one day, and I asked her how she found four different husbands. And so she told me, in her 20s, she married a banker. When she got married in her 40s, it was to a musician. When she got married in her 60s, it was to a preacher. And when she got married for the last time in her 80s, it was to a funeral director. <laughs> yeah. I said, those are so different. You couldn't have met them the same way. They couldn't have been that similar. How did that work out? And she said, well, honey, I married one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> well, my grandpa always had to have the last laugh. So he told her, I sure am glad that I'm not dating again in my 80s. He said, I can just see it now, me getting all dressed up, putting on some nice cologne, walking into a bar, sitting down by a pretty lady and saying, so, do I come here often? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Thank you for listening to my story. Thank you.